I can go back to when I, I first became HIV positive. I was 53. So of course, everything that was happening, I would blame on being HIV positive. My doctor at the time made me make three charts. One was predisposed, <laughs> what I already had as illnesses. One was what would happen as I age, and one was what happens with HIV. And that actually helped me sort of not blame the HIV on everything, that things were happening to my body that were just going to happen. FIFOS is the largest provider of uh, support services and supportive housing for people living with HIV and AIDS. My student placement at FIFE was what we call a role emerging placement, meaning there's not a, a OT at the organization already. I had to pave my own path to succeed in it. I think that people with living with HIV, with complex medical issues, declining cognition would benefit from ongoing support from an occupational therapist. It feels good. It feels like you're making a difference. I mean, I'm getting old. <laughs> it's part of it as well. And there's a lot of things that are happening that are going with the aging process. And being HIV positive, I'm aging even more. So just I had to go along with that. Well, an occupational therapist helps individuals who have an interference in doing the things they want or need to do. So often what I'm able to provide is usually a home safety assessment. Other things have been cognitive strategies, so cognitive testing, maybe to see any impairments they might be having, if they're having issues with their memory, their attention, um, their executive functioning. And so often with a home safety assessment is I'll observe the individual just getting around their environment, getting around their home and what modifications I can make. So can they be grab bars, um, transfer benches, of really tailoring the environment to the individual. We definitely recommend occupational therapists to work with people with HIV. Occupational therapists are trained as generalists and we can work on these physical, mental, and social issues people may be having. And the fact that I can work on all those things with one client is very rewarding. I see rehab and occupational therapy playing such a huge role in helping these people get from this acute illness back home and back into their communities doing what they want and need to do. Without the physio and OT and cognitive therapy, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be able to deal with some of the stuff I can deal with. <laughs>